Hello YouTube, my name is Jack, welcome to the channel. This is just a quick one today. I just want to sort of show you the fully automatic um, new marksman rifle. Pretty cool. I've got it. I've put this barrel on, which is fully automatic. It's pretty, pretty cool. And I just want to show you the new map as well. The new map, I really like this new map, Mayhem 24-7. It's really weird. It's like, it looks like it's a Hollywood set or something. You'll see it now. It's running around the map and showing you the new gun. And, that, and that's about it. It's the M1916, but I've not um, unlocked the battle pass yet. So usually I buy the battle pass, but today I'm not. I don't really feel the need because you buy the battle pass, you get two guns. Before I know it, I'll un unlock, unlock them guns anyway. So there's been a couple of battle passes that have been a real letdown as well the last few seasons. I think it might have been the last battle pass that was really bad, or the one before. The one where you got um weird handgun or something called. I can't remember, but was, they need to make the guns better in the battle passes, man. Make guns that are like really like fun to use. But this new new M1916 is alright. This one is called Mayhem. The update as well took friggin' ever, man. So this is the new gun. Try not to get yourself killed. Pretty decent. Got it fully all made. Hard point, okay. And this is the new map. Look. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Everyone's Snoop Dogg though. What you can do though on this map, you can just hold angles and wait for people to come to you. Because people, the way the map is, people just run around in circles, look. See, so you just run around in a lap, you just lap it sort of. Also, what's good as well, when, when the season starts, everyone's ranked one again, so it's like there's no skill-based matchmaking for a day. Enemy running See, I've still looked. Hello, Dino, what's up? Yeah, I still don't know the map yet, so. Oh, that's the vaults. What's the matter with you, Bino? Yeah, so then you've got like this sort of uh, micro machines type road look it's all like a little cars and that thing Daniel. pretty interesting actually the way they've done this map because you mean like there's a lot of there's a lot of like angles weird angles and little flank points and that and and uh, just angles that you can hold it's actually a, a like in for gameplay and potential gameplay it's like a genius map layout i think actually to be honest i could be wrong i could be wrong but Yeah, it is a really good map. You still waiting down there, Bino? What are you doing? Hard point located. Say hello, Bino.
Oh, it's got all cat ears on my joypad. Oops. Yeah, I think this map is just really cool, man. Really cool. So it's got like really big open spaces, really small enclosed spaces that open out into big spaces. Load of load of wall bangable stuff. Very very cool map. One of my favourite maps I think I've ever played, and I've only played this map about three times. Feels like you've almost got a brand new game with it. Like, like I say, I think it is like a really genius map design, actually, to be honest. Hard point is out. Oh, that's a. Walked into a Jagernaut. And you can even, like, sort of jump up there. Look, watch, I did it earlier. I sort of jumped up there and slid back down. People keep jumping across there as well. This is quite a powerful position actually, this bit. Once people start getting used to the map, they'll start shooting you from here, but... See, see he started to realise that I was up there then. So he's pretty good. Recon blade circling the battle. I say as I miss every shot. What what game mode are we playing here? Enemy war machine Sometimes you can over predict stuff, man. We are losing big, I think. Yeah, and that's the map, it's a pretty cool map. I like it, that's the auto, the fully auto new gun. But when it's fully auto, play the game. Let's see what play the game. I wonder if the fix is play the game bit yet. Not really. On Cold War, it goes about five or six kills. Yeah, look, Snoop saying every bit of my doobie. Let's vote Snoop. Because he's got a doobie in his hand. Yeah, in Cold War, the the kill cam would go on for a lot longer, like five, six kills. Sometimes I've seen seven and eight kills in a kill cam on Cold War. Well, on this, it does two kills, and then, like, you... It, like, makes it look like you die after that. So the kill cam's a bit... Busted in uh, Vanguard. It's because of all that stupid, useless stuff at the end about best kill and all that, and most kills and all that. Dumb voting system thing. Dumb, man. You know what? That voting system thing would be better if, if on your, like, stats, it said, like, voted most MVP this many times, voted this this many times, but it don't, man. It's dumb. Anyway, that's the video, guys. Um... I hope you enjoyed it. That's the new map and the new gun. It's not leveled up, but it, it looks all right. I played a bit of um, Clash on it earlier, and um, it was all right. I just couldn't work out the bullet velocity. I couldn't work out where I had to sort of lead the bullets and that. So 
But once I've worked all that out, I'll try and work out what the sort of best. Because I should imagine it's a long range gun, but I think because it's fully auto and it feels very fast by moving around, I think it's going to end up being almost like a sniper support, almost. Maybe. Maybe. Or or like an SMG and that. So it might sort of replace ARs a little bit. I don't know. Because there's going to be a new sniper meta and stuff, apparently. Because they're nerfing a lot of the sniper guns and stuff. But yeah, that, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you do, please hit the like button. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more content. And goodbye.